Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jack, when are you going to buy more Mario stuff? You haven't got enough. Well, don't worry, everyone. Because it's my birthday. So I got myself a little present. Yahoo! As you can see, this set nicely matches my coaster. <laughs> Which is irrelevant. But yeah, it's my birthday. So I bought myself this. Don't know why Louise didn't buy it for me, but... Yeah, I got this, and uh, I'm nearly 40, so this is my midlife crisis, quite clearly. Um, yeah. It says it's got 1,215 pieces. It says it's 18 plus. So it is for adults. Whoosh. Fun, fun, everyone loves an unboxing, don't they? Let's unbox something. What's inside the box? I wasn't expecting to find Lego in my Lego box. One bag, two bags, three bags, four bags, five bags, six bags, seven bags, eight bags, nine bags, ten bags, eleven bags, twelve bags, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's a tiny bag. Seventeen bags and an envelope. Inside the envelope, a manual. It's pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. So I guess we now skip to that time lapse thing where I can stop talking. Hey, the Lego set's 18 plus, I can be 18 plus. I guess there's only one tune for it. <laughs> oh wow, the Super Mario World story. I remember the day Super Mario World came out, you know. I walked into my brother Tom's room and there he was playing it. And I'm like, what the f is this? It's amazing! And so I joined in as Luigi, obviously. And it was the best day of my life, basically. My life's just gone downhill since then. I'm trying to relive the moment with stupid Lego sets like this. The good thing about buying the real Lego set, I didn't say this is the real Lego set, is that they actually come in numbered bags, whereas when you buy the fake ones, there's no order, so you just take a long time finding the right piece. At least now we only have a small selection of the right piece. So yeah. There's a bonus to paying five times the price. <laughs> Change t-shirt first. Now uh, the battery died yesterday and uh, I got this far. So today we'll finish it off. Today we'll add Mario. It's looking pretty cool. He does a little walk and I've made the thing that makes his tongue come out. Whee! But it hasn't been set up yet to do it automatically. Fun fun fun. Back to the music. <laughs> So there you have it, finished. Spin the lever, he does a little walk, spin this knob on the back, and whee! Or whatever noise he makes. This one. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. There's one more thing to check out. So if you remember a long time ago, I bought this fake Lego. And, uh, as we know, it's a beautiful piece of Lego. Beautiful piece of art. And the cool thing I recently bought was this Mario, just to see if it worked on the fake Lego. Let's see if it does. Let's lift up the little 
castle. And if he steps inside the castle, So that's pretty cool. It works with the fake Lego. Nice. Very cool, motherfucker. I mean, Mario Aka. But what happens when we put him on the new one? He does this. Wait to go. Wait to go. It's not quite as cool. I'd expect him to sing the Super Mario World theme like he does with the Peach's Castle music. Eh, not so cool. So in conclusion, I'd say buy this, buy this, don't buy this. Waste of money. See you next time in Jack Builds Lego, whether it's fake or real. So I was just packing up and then I realised that this little stand spins round and you could stand on it and eventually he does sing the theme tune See you guys I hope he makes these noises too Oh wow, now it's worth it. Huh. How does he know I'm doing this stuff? How does he know? Does he know or am I just doing it in time? No. He seems to know. He knows! That's cool. Okay, now it's almost worth buying this little guy for that. Nice. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> Genius.